So we're in a strange time nowadays when the news institutions themselves have become newsworthy. So in case you haven't guessed, you probably know from the title, we're going to be talking about the CNN blackmail shenanigans that when I when I learned about this this morning, truth is stranger than fiction. The the world has become so bizarre. Uh, so in case you don't know about it, let's let's real quick give you give you the overview. What is the name of the guy who had the initial uh, Han asshole solo? Yes, from <laughs> from Reddit. Yeah. So I've I've heard that he is actually not the origin of the. Oh meme, really? Oh. And that they falsely threatened him. So the story is is that basically CNN threatened to dox. Um, no, uh, not not even there. Trump tweeted oh, or yeah, retweeted right. a gif of when he was on WWE and the the there's a guy that he was you know not actually beating up but fake beating up because it's wrestling and image of CNN like a CNN logo was imposed over the person's face that he was beating up and Trump tweeted this and it was traced back to a Reddit user named Han Asshole Solo and. He, I, I saw some Reddit posts of him being like, oh my god, my my meme, my meme is famous now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, If I made that and a and the president of the United States reposted my shit posting, I, that would be a moment of triumph. I mean, that's like <laughs> the whole Trump Nazi thing, but that's like... Hitler, you being in the Hitler youth, and Hitler comes and gives you a medal. Yeah, basically, an internet medal. An internet medal. So if you're in Keck's army, and the... the, What is is Trump... What is the name for Trump Uh, in Keck's army? God Emperor Trump. If you are in Keck's army and God Emperor Trump tweets your meme, I mean, that's like... That's the... Yeah, no... (laughs) the best thing that can happen to you it's the best goddamn thing that can happen to you (laughs) and and tell cnn until until cnn finds out who you are and threatens to blackmail you and then when you apologize and you i i would think of it as kind of like groveling although i don't hold it against him for uh you know, for apologizing, that sort of thing. CNN then says like, oh, we won't do it because you've been a nice person, because you've, you've apologized. You've, re- you've repented. You've repented, but we reserve the right to say it, to say it if you uh, go back to your sinning ways. And it's really bizarre because doxing is something that small fries on the internet do to each other to try to you know get them harassed or to get them fired or to have hundreds of dollars of pizzas ordered to their homes yeah. and <laughs> it's uh, it's just so weird to have the CNN a I don't know how Aren't many they arguably the biggest media firm on Yeah, the I don't know how them? I don't know I'm assuming they're worth billions of dollars doing this to someone Not for long. <laughs> I I actually am not I don't think that they're going to see as big of a fall as everyone's talking yeah, about. Yeah, probably not. But I sincerely hope, like this, I really please people share this with the, your your peers around you. So whenever someone's like talking about like, oh, CNN's so great. Oh yeah, did you hear that they blackmailed a kid? It would probably be him getting fired from his job, harassed, probably car keying, that sort of stuff. CNN did that to someone? Does that make you feel like they're a good and reputable company who really cares about journalistic ethics? And they're all they're all doing this because the, the other thing that's just ridiculous is that uh, CNN talking about how this image promotes violence against journalists and it's a bad thing and that it which is ridiculous because first off, wrestling's fake. Second off, it's a meme. It's a fucking meme. It's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what their train of thought is except for let's make a controversy out of nothing. And I don't know. I I I don't see how this is this is going to hurt them. I don't think that they're going to tank um but I now have another media organization that I have vowed to never click on one of their links again. Um except to, you know, 
investigate their hypocrisy. Except to investigate their hypocrisy, but um, that is something that I I recommend people do if possible. There are certain uh, news agencies that I uh, do not go to. I don't know if any of you are people who are familiar with Gamergate. There's uh, companies from from that situation that I won't uh, patronize anymore. Uh, Wall Street Journal. I won't patronize after uh, uh, after them accusing PewDiePie of being anti-Semitic, which is absolutely ridiculous and obviously false. <laughs> and re- anyway, and now <laughs> CNN too. I don't know. That's just something that I won't stand for. If I mean, if like a YouTuber did that to someone else, I would stop. I would not consume their content. I'm going to do that to a larger business. Unfortunately, I'm only, you know, they've got They've got a lot of inertia in them. They've got a lot to, to keep them up, but I really hope that they can that they'll lose a lot of money from this. I really hope that the the editor and the journalist responsible for this get fired. Um, I hope that no, I it seems like they've been doxed, which I think is unfortunate. I really I don't think doxing people is something that is uh, unless there's been an actual crime committed, which doxing is not a crime. Unless there's been an actual crime committed, I don't think that people should be doxxed in any way. I think it's a poor tactic. It's underhanded. You cede the moral high ground when you do that. So yeah. Anyway, a lot of a lot of the journalists or people responsible for this have been doxxed, which is unfortunate. I hope that nothing bad. I know. I hope that no physical harm comes to them. I hope that they're not harassed, but I sure hope that they get fired. And I mean, this is too much to ask for. I don't think this would happen. But it'd be great if they also got blacklisted. But again, I don't. I don't think that's actually going to happen. Well, I don't, I know a lot of people online and I actually, I got into a Twitter exchange with someone last night because mm-hmm. um, I kind of made a tweet. It was the fourth I was drinking, but I made, <laughs> I made a tweet saying like, there's no legal ramification really that mm-hmm. there's, it's a tenuous grounds. And um, someone kind of had a comment about that. Oh, I said, doxing doesn't violate the sacred NAP. Because there's no right to privacy, mm-hmm. but we condemn it because it foments NAP violations. And someone said, like, oh, yeah, what he did was illegal. Threatening a kid is illegal. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> also, it is only rumor that this person's 15 years old. Yeah, it's not. Uh, or he isn't. I believe he's, <laughs> like, in his mid-age or something. Yeah, anyway, there there are tenuous grounds that uh, what was done was illegal, but... I kind of don't think anything will happen because they're CNN. Yeah. You know? Uh, anyway, I don't think that there'll be any any legal recourse. I, I mean, unless what I could see maybe happening is that if if this guy files a civil lawsuit saying that as an effect he suffered some, some kind of compensable damage because of this exposure, mm-hmm. like, um, but then he would have to be identified anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway... Don't dox people. It's bad. If you're if you're a mainstream news organization, don't stoop to threatening to dox people. I this is to me seems like some of the last vestiges of a dying imploding star that is the mainstream media. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening to our rant. We just wanted to mention it because it's such a bizarre truth again truth is stranger than fiction if if this was if this was a story written in a novel i wouldn't believe it if someone if someone told me yesterday that this would happen i or sorry not yesterday two days ago that this would happen i wouldn't have believed it but it's happening this is real life this is our country now maybe cnn is playing 4d chess and they really want to detract from the icbm korea test launch and and, and this is just the only thing they can find. Yeah, this was their master plan. <laughs> Let's threaten to dox someone, and then they won't talk about. And and then no, 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 because actually, I mean, it's pretty smart because if you think about it, they're they've gotten the counter media to focus on them being ridiculous. So now the counter media isn't even talking about this ICBM launch. Yeah, or the implosion of the Trump Russia narrative with the Project Veritas video. Yeah, that's check that stuff out. Yeah, because I mean, basically, who was it? The one of the head guys from CNN was caught saying that the Trump Rus- Russia narrative is just mostly BS. Yeah, and it doesn't surprise me at all. In fact, Sh- shocking. Yeah, shocker. But <laughs> but what I was thinking too is that um, 
they're doing it for ratings. I mean, it's they're dying. Their business is dying. Mm -hmm. And the sensationalism throughout this whole thing has been caused by their dying grasps at their former business and for ratings. And uh, that would be sad. I mean, it is sad, but... Make sure they're replaced with something worthwhile. Make sure they're replaced with something better than the Young Turks. Yeah. <laughs> or, but... Yeah, I just... I guess I don't care. They're they dinosaur media is being replaced, and try your damnedest that they're replaced with something worthwhile. But all their talks about the proper role of media, and you know their their outrage at cert, at what Trump has done, saying like, "Oh, this you know incites violence against us," and this and this and that, to, for them to be driven by a quest for ratings in their. I mean, they always have been, but to be so driven desperately for ratings that they sensationalize everything at a tenuous point, it's dangerous and hypocritical. And I'm not saying that the media has enough influence to be responsible for, you know, America civil war or whatever, you know, the culture war. Mm -hmm. They don't help. No, they don't. Thank you for listening to our rant. Uh, this is sort of an experimental thing. I really just wanted to talk about this today. Let us know what you think. Thank you.